turn to Psalms chapter 11. I'm going to be reading in Psalms chapter 11. He's starting in verse number 1. It says, In the Lord put I my trust, how say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try, the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup, for the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. His countenance doth behold the upright. Now we're going to be focusing on verse number three where it says, If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? And so the title of my sermon is to be a young fundamentalist, or to just be a fundamentalist. Turn to Luke chapter 6, verse 46. What is a fundamentalist? A fundamentalist is a person who believes in the strict, literal interpretation of Scripture in a religion. In other words, somebody who actually believes what the religion teaches. Relating to or advocating strict adherence to the basic principles. Notice that, basic principles of any subject or discipline. Fundamentalism is a movement or attitude stressing strict and literal adherence to a set of basic principles. And a fundamental, the definition of fundamental is serving as a basis supporting existence or determining essential structure or function, basic, of or relating to essential structure, function, or facts, radical, of central importance, principle, belonging to one's innate or ingrained characteristics, deep-rooted. So fundamentalism is a movement of people who are trying to strictly adhere to what the Bible actually says and also advocate for others to strictly adhere to what the Bible actually says. Today we have so many people who, they don't care what the Bible says, they just do whatever they feel is right, they do whatever feels good, or you know, whatever way the wind's blowing, and they don't care what the Bible says, to them times can change, and so therefore their worship can change, but a fundamentalist is somebody who believes what the Bible actually says and practices it. And not only do we believe it, but we also advocate for other people to believe it as well. Luke chapter 6, verse 46 says, And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? This is true. Why why would we call Jesus Lord if we're not going to do the things that he says? Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and digged deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. So we see somebody, they dig deep, and then they lay the foundation, and then they build upon the foundation. They don't just put something on sand and then live inside of it. They dig deep. And notice the definition of fundamental is something that is ingrained, characteristic, deep-rooted. And then it goes on to say, But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation build a house upon the earth, against which the stream did vehemently beat, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. So somebody who doesn't actually build their life on the foundation, they don't build their life on the Word of God, as soon as the attacks come, as soon as the persecution comes, they will fall immediately. We need to be deeply rooted. We need to dig deep and lay the foundation of the Word of God and be founded on the fundamentals so that way when the attacks come or whenever the false prophets come or the Judases come or the persecution comes, we don't fall. We can stand strong against everything that comes against us. Uh, it turned to Psalms chapter 119, verse 100. I'm going to be reading out of Isaiah 58, verse 12 through 14. It says, And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many de- generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. Every generation needs to dig deep and lay the foundation in their own life. It's not enough that your mother or your father is a fundamentalist. It's not enough that your grandparents are a fundamentalist. It's not enough that your pastor or your church is a fundamentalist. You need to be a fundamentalist in your own life. We need to dig deep and lay the foundation in our own lives. Don't just go on what you've been told. You know, we can't just listen to what people say. We have to search in the Word of God and lay the foundation ourselves and be a fun, choose to be a fundamentalist ourselves. Psalms 119, verse 100 through 105, it says, I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. I refrain my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The way that we are going to be fundamentalists in this world is that we make God's word sweet to our taste. It needs to be sweet like honey to us. Do you love the word of God? Do you desire the word of God? Is it sweet to you? Because that's how you're going to be a fundamentalist. 
by being, having the Word of God be sweet to us. So that way we can have it guide our steps and guide our paths. Because most of the world, even in churches, most churches, they, they just walk by whatever they can feel. You know, they walk in darkness. They just walk wherever they can, and most of them, they fall right off the cliff. We need the light of God's Word to keep us from falling off the cliff. We need the light of God's Word to keep us on the right path. Turn, uh, well, Acts chapter 17, verse 11, it says, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the Word with all readiness of mind, and searched the Scriptures daily, whether those things were so. We need to be like those in Berea, and not just take what the media tells us, not just take what a preacher tells us. We need to compare everything with the Word of God, and search the Word of God to see whether it's true. You can't just accept what everybody says. You have to test everything with the Scripture. 